So now, any point during the workout, you feel like you need a modification for something, um, shoot, me a, shoot me a little comment there and I'll get to that and provide that for you. And of course, if you feel like you need to rest, good news for you, you can always do that. Um, and uh, if you don't need to rest, when I might be resting, you feel free to push yourself through. So let's start things off. We're gonna start off with a quick 30 seconds. Nice and easy jog in place. And I'm gonna start nice and easy with the knees and then as we progress here, I'm gonna get my knees up a little bit higher. With 15 seconds left, I'm getting the heels up in the back. And we're getting warmed up. Getting it moving. What a beautiful day too. You know, you can take this video and you could be doing this outside at the park or your backyard or something. Cool, then we're gonna bring it back in, feet together, hop them apart, press those arms straight up. I'm gonna get the shoulders warmed up right here. 15 seconds worth, 10 to go. Now remember the warm up's all part of the workout, so. So my wife always says, switch to pushing now. If you feel like you're not working very hard, it's because you're not working very hard. But we're gonna graduate ourselves up there. Not quite there yet. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one, good. Now what I'm looking for is a little bit of a bend in the knee and a lateral walk. I want your hamstrings firing, your glutes are firing, your quads. I'm gonna go about five out and then about five back. Start to feel burn in your quads. We're trying to activate the glutes in the process. I'm gonna go just to the width of the camera here so I can keep an eye on you. And then we're gonna go there and back one more time. Feeling good. Love it, all right. Let's go arms up, reach up real high. Stretch yourself long. And then reach down towards your toes. Just a little bit of a bend in the knee so your hamstrings are engaged. And then your hands are gonna hit the floor. Walk them forward slowly. Hands under the shoulders. Get yourself a push up in. Uh, push ups from your knees or your toes either way. Then walk your hands back towards your feet. Reach up. So we're working our core here. We're working our cores. We're walking out and walking back. Obviously, upper body with the push-ups, lower body as we're walking out. So, really good warm-up all the way around. Really helps reduce likelihood injury. Push-up. I'm going to do five of these. However many you get done in this time is totally fine. And again, take your time with it. Knees, push-ups, whatever works best for you. Pretty sure that was three. Four, four. Four, reaching up, one more for good measure. Now if you lost count, you always just do one extra. That's the rule. Boom, all right, then we're gonna go into some squats. I'm gonna go sideways on. Remember, keep those knees from coming over your toes. Your shoulders and your chest stay up, and you're gonna sit back into these squats. Okay, we're doing 30 seconds worth. Shoulders and chest staying up. You can go as fast as me, you can go slower, you can go faster, no problem. Still in the warm-up stage, I want you to really think about squeezing your glutes, really focusing on form and mechanics right now. Shoulders and chest up. Make sure the knees are back behind the toes. Shoulders, chest up. Let's get three more in there. One, two, one more, and three, good. Hands on the hips, we've got lunges next. So, shoulders and chest up, shoulders back, Step forward, 90 degree angle, and then alternate. When you step forward, let's get a little twist, come on back. Now, if I'm going to the side, you'll see I'm dropping my back knee. My front knee is living over my toe. It's not going past. A little bit of a twist, core obliques. Now, I've actually created an exercise library, tutorial of all the different exercises, and if that's something that you want me to send you, all our exercises, how to do them, the different modifications, and you can watch them at your own time. Leave me a comment when this is over and I'll make sure you get that, okay? Yes, Britton. Uh, the best part of the workout is that you can listen to whatever you want, as if you don't wanna to listen to me talking? Come on, man! No, nah, I'm just doing it. Of course, that's the best part. You put your own crazy music on. We all know what Britton likes to listen to. So, all right, we got our basic warm up in. Grab your knee into your right shoulder. A little bit of balance in the process. Pull it across the body next. Glutes working. Now pull that sucker behind. Bonus points if you didn't have to put your foot down. Good stretch. 
Heel down, toe up, reach for your toe. Good, hammy's working there. Now the opposite side, knee in toward the shoulder. Good balance, pull it across the body next. Pull it back behind you. And then get that heel down, toe up, reach for the toe. And then we're gonna have a little crouch, press your knees out, stretching the adductors. Now, if you need a minute to stretch anything else, go ahead and go for it. We've got five exercises today, okay? We're gonna get through it three times, just like we would a normal boot camp. In between each exercise, we've got our transitions, just like we would in a normal boot camp. So, station number one is gonna be five jumping jacks with a star jump. So, we're gonna jump right into it and I'm gonna explain as we go and that'll give me a chance to rest as we're doing the process. So, exercise number one, we're working for 30 seconds and as soon as we're done, we're gonna go right into our transition, which is gonna be 15 seconds. Then we'll get a chance to rest as we transition, okay? So first 30 seconds up, last little stretch, last little drink. And we're starting off with five jumping jacks and one star jump. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, star jump. One, two, three, four, five, Star jump. Now, of course, your jumping jacks can look like that, and your star jumps can look like this if you're not jumping, okay? I'm going the jumping version. You got 10 more seconds. Four, five. You can squeeze one more round in. Go for it. Two, three, four, five. Star jump. Perfect. Our transition, our squats. 15 seconds worth. Here we go. Knees back behind the toes, shoulders and chest out. If you have some dumbbells, if you have a kettlebell, you can grab those bad boys right now as you're hitting these squats, okay? Another five seconds, three, two, one. Cool, next exercise, plank ups. Down into plank, okay, on your forearms. From your forearms, you're gonna push up onto your toes, and then you're gonna go back down. I want you to alternate. So, you press up with your right hand, you go back down. You press up with your left hand, you go back down, okay? So we got 30 seconds on the clock, keep your back flat, your feet are shoulder length apart. Starting in five, three, two, up we go, and down. Alternating sides. Try not to rock your hips. Remember, this is a boot camp workout, it's not Zumba. Tim's leading the Zumba class later. I'm not. We're doing great, you got 15 more seconds. Now, if you need a rest, hold that plank, hold it steady. Otherwise, push yourself through a little bit more. 10 more seconds worth. Nice job, five seconds. And of course, last one, we're gonna finish this off with the squats again. We've got squats for 15 seconds in between each exercise for round number one. You guys are doing great. Just 10 seconds worth, so another five worth on the squats. Again, if you need the weight, a little something extra on these, go for it. Beautiful, two stations down, three to go for round number one. Number two, or number three rather, is we got skaters. So you're gonna start on one foot, you're gonna push to the side, stick the landing, and back. Now, start with a good bend of that knee, get low, back up and high, is gonna make that more challenging. If you need less of a challenge, it's just side to side. We're working on our balance, we're working on our explosiveness, okay? So 30 seconds, I'm going down and up. Down and up, across the body. There we go. Soft landing. Nice work, back and forth. There you go, keep it going. Give me 10 more seconds. You can do it. Feeling that soft landing, bending the knee, power back up and across. One more. Beautiful, all right, let's sit down those squats now. Shoulders and chest up, down we go. 15 seconds. Good work, good work. Five more seconds to go. And done, beautiful, all right. Two stations left. Next up we got push-ups. Working, but she's listening. Which means we'll do it later. <laughs> all right, we got push-ups next, so. Two options on your push-ups. 
you're either going from your knees or from your toes, okay? Either way, we're gonna go for 30 seconds or both start with one transition to the other. Here we go, 30 seconds worth, back's flat, elbows in tight, down we go, up we go. Rep them out. It's not a competition, best you can do from the knees or from the toes. We got 15 more seconds. Up and down. 10 seconds left. Maybe I shouldn't have had the heat on in here as long as I did. Last one. All right. Come back up. You know we got those squats coming at you. Ready? And rock them out. Knees behind the toes. You're doing great. After these squats, we've got one more exercise with our transition. And then you can get a little water break. Okay? So stick with me through there. Five more seconds. Three. Two. And one. Last exercise. Oh, you thought we were going to give the legs a break? Not today, baby. Not today. Squat. Two lunges. So you're going to do a squat. And then you're going to go into your lunges. Now, if you're feeling saucy, if you feel like you need a little something extra, let's make those lunge hops. So you got your squat, and then you're gonna go lunge, hop, okay? So either way, 30 seconds on the clock. Squat, lunge, lunge. Squat, lunge, lunge. We feel it tomorrow. Lunge, or squat, lunge, lunge. Make sure your knees aren't coming over your toes on your lunges. Your shoulders and chest are up. We're halfway there. Wow. Come on, let's get to work. Good, one more, one more. Squat, lunge, lunge, yes. What, the transition is squats, oh, let's go. Let's go, come on. Feel them, let me bring them out so you can see them. They're white and pasty, but they look good. Come on, five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Round one in the book. So here's your chance. Two minutes to catch your breath. You can also jump rope. I'm gonna get 30 seconds of jump rope in and then rest for a minute and a half. So you can jump rope in between rounds. I don't have a real jump rope, but might, you might, and you can use one. Or catch your breath, towel off, get a drink. Your call. Nice job. And 15 more seconds. Just keeping the body moving. 10 more left. Keep it up, five seconds left. Three, two, one. Good, get yourself a drink. Bring that heart rate back down. We got one round in the books, we got two rounds to go. And now of course, it's gonna be new transition though this next time. So not squats yet. Nice job. Get your drink of water, wash your hands. You know the deal. I got a, a lot of these Ian Venice water bottles. If you want one, let me know. Yeah, Britain's quads are feeling it, I bet. Now Britain, I suspect you have a weight vest on. If you don't, I'm a little disappointed in you. But you'll put it on next time, don't worry. How's everybody else feeling? You guys doing okay? Show me a little something so I know you're there. I see a lot of people here, but let me know if you're working out and you're having a good time. Drop me a heart, drop me a, drop me a thumbs up, maybe a bicep curl. One of those, something. And uh, round two is about to start. Let me reset the clock. Now, same stations, but our transition is different. Transition is going to be high knees this time, okay? So here we go. Station number one, 30 seconds. And here we go. We got five jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five. Star jump. One, two, three, four. Five, star jump. One, two, three, four, five, star jump. Keep it going. One, two, three, four, five, star jump. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, star jump. Last one. Squeeze it in. Two, three, four, five, star jump. Now listen, I know I'm not right there with you, but I'm right here. I don't want you stopping early on these exercises. I don't want you cutting out reps. You go all the way. Champions do more, you're champion, so don't stop early. Make sure you push yourself all the way through. Even though you're not in a group, I still know, I'm like Santa Claus, okay? So let's finish that transition for this one. It's gonna be high knees, 15 seconds. 
Ready? Three, two, one, go. Get those knees in. Remember, it's high knees. It's not low knees. It's not medium knees. And if you move your arms like this, you're gonna burn some more calories, which means you're probably gonna burn some more fat, help you lose weight, help you build muscle. So get those arms moving. The more your body's moving, the better, okay? Three, two, and one. One station down, two, four to go. Number two, plank ups. Back down into our plank position. As you remember, we're pushing up to the hands. If you need to go from your knees, no sweat. If you're going from your toes, back's flat. Three, two, up we go. Try not to twist the hips. Alternating side to side. Here we go. 15 more seconds. 10 left, 10 left, you're almost home. Five to go. And done, all right, up we go. I need time, right, right into it. Knees up, arms moving, putting in the work. You might be off work, you might be off school. You ain't off from working out though, baby, come on. Bring it home. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, station number three, skaters. Remember, you got your straight across, and then for a little bit more of a challenge, it's down and up across. So here we go, 30 seconds. Two, one, push. The lower, the higher you go, more explosive. Pushing across the body. There you go, nice soft landing. A little bend in the knee, give it a cushion. You're halfway there. You're crushing it. 10 more seconds. Nice work. Five seconds to go. Keep it going. Two, one, one more. Boom, get those high knees in. Right and good. Come on, get them up. Get them up. Get them up. Let's go. Nice. You're doing it. Five seconds left. Three. Two, and one, love it. Station four, we're back to the push-ups. Down we go on the floor. That's breath, get a little wipe off. So hands on the shoulders, knees, toes if you need it. 30 seconds, ready, and here we go. Remember, keep your elbows in. I don't want your elbows way out wide. They need to be tucked in towards your body. See that a lot. It's better to go from your knees with your elbows tucked in than force Bad technique or mechanics, okay? We need to stay healthy. Don't need any shoulder injuries. Elbows stay in. 10 seconds. Nobody stops early. Hold the plank. Hold the plank if you're tired. But don't stop. Two, one. High knee time. Let's go. You're doing great. Keep it going. Get him up, knees up, arms moving. Five seconds. Three, two, one, nice work. All right, one station to go. Let's go, Jay, let's go. So, oh, a power leg, a power leg, I like it. All right, station number five. Squats with the lunge jumps, let's go. Squat, Whew. lunge jump, lunge jump. Squat, lunge jump, lunge jump. Bam, getting in the work. Remember, just a squat. Just a lunge, and that's where you're at, no problem. 15 seconds. Keep it going, 10 to go. Love it, five seconds. Ah, don't stop early, come on. That's the way to squeeze it right into the high knees, oh. Push through that burn, come on. We got a break coming up after this. Come on, now it's time to work. Five more seconds, four, three, Two, and one. Bam, nice job. Two rounds down, one to go. Get your drink, get your jump rope, in, jump rope in for 45 seconds if you want. We got two minutes to catch our breath. Get ready for that third and final round. And you better believe after that third round, spend a couple minutes on those abs because I know you've been snacking. I've seen your all cupboards. I've seen what's been going in your grocery carts. And uh, it's good to be prepared, but 
can't eat up all that food. And I know you've been doing it, so we're gonna do a little extra work today. We're gonna do a little extra work. So grab that drink, get ready for the third and final round. Whew, okay, last round coming up. Now listen, this is where the results come. It's from the last round. First round, that's kind of a warm up. Round number two is like getting used to the exercises. Round number three is where the results come because that's where you push yourself a little bit harder, right? It doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Round number three is where the magic happens. So push yourself through on this last round. You got the rest of the day off most likely. So you're gonna go for a walk later in the sun, but right now let's work hard, okay? Give me a few more minutes, I appreciate that. Let's go. All right, back to round number one, station, or station number one. Big deep breath, 10 seconds, and we are getting ready to rock. Finish strong here, last chance with each exercise. Three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, Start jump. Finish with star jumps all the way through. Come on. Last set. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Nice. No transition on the last round. You get a rest. Because I need a little bit of that extra energy for you at the very end with a little bonus core stuff. So catch your breath for a second. And then we're diving in. Stage number two, plank ups. So down we go. Three, two, and go. Alternating. Round number three might be where you hold the plank, right? Or it might be where you go from the knees if you need to adjust. Halfway. Keep it going. Home stretch here. Five more seconds. And last one. Nice work. Whoo, your core should be talking to you. Your core should be talking to you. Station three. Skaters. He's ready to skate. Here we go. Remember, get down low, get up high on this one. Three, two, and off we go. Little jump, down and up. Get down, get high. Nice. Power cross, stick that landing. Stick that landing. Good work, good work. Nice job, nice job. Now I got messages coming in. We're doing five seconds left. Push to the end, push to the end, come on. And done, nice job, nice job. All right, number four, we got push-ups. Last set of push-ups, baby. Now, if your shoulders are really talking to you, shoulders are really hurting, no worries. Let's get a whole high plank in, okay? Or again, pop down from the knees. You gotta do you right here, but I want you to find your version for you and give the best version. Doesn't have to be what I'm doing, but you gotta work hard. Here we go, 30 seconds of push-ups. Ready, go. How many are you gonna do, Britton? Let me know. Keep it going. Come on. Halfway, I'm at 15, where are you at? Where are you at, Chris? 20 push-ups. 20. And uh, okay, 25. Brittany, you didn't do 25, how many did you do? How many do, Britton? Tell me. How many you got in? I think I got 25, you can check the tape, so. It could have been 30, actually. I don't know. Okay, last exercise, squat with the lunges. Here we go, squat it down. Knees back behind the toes, lunge, lunge. Boom, boom, boom. Get it going, get it going. Halfway. Nice. 
Come on, last set. Last one, squat, lunge, lunge, nice. That's how you finish strong. That's how you finish strong. 23, beat him, beat him. It's not a competition until it is. All right, catch your breath. Get your jump rope dip in if you need it. We got some core. We got some core and cool down coming your way. So don't go anywhere. And we've got a lot of first time viewers in there. People coming in. Got my brother in the Air Force watching. Appreciate you, man. Get this workout in, stay fit, stay healthy. 15 from Virginia, wow, let's go. That's great. Catch your breath. Again, we got a little core work. A little core work. Trying to combat those that overloaded pantries and cupboards. So here we go. First one, have a seat. One of my all time favorites. We gotta have rows, okay? We're gonna go 15 seconds. Start with the knees in, extend the legs out, knees in. Feels easy? Take your hands off the floor. Too tough? One foot at a time, okay? You only got five seconds more. Stick with it. Last one. Bam, good, rest for a second. Next step, one foot stays pushed into the floor. Okay, other leg is out. Bring your opposite knee into the elbow. Now, don't rah, don't squeeze your head. You wanna keep your chin from touching your neck. Slow and steady, good. Now when your knee's coming into your elbow, your core is engaged. Squeezing those abs. My camera. And good, reps, you're gonna switch. Opposite leg out, knee into the shoulder. Boom, boom, love it, keep it going. Hold it for a second as they're coming. Good stuff. Squeeze one more in, boom, nice. Now you're up on your hands and your knees. Um, right, right where you're watching, this will just, this, if you're watching, if you're just tuning in at this very second, this video is going to be uh, in the group. You can start it from the beginning whenever you like. Once the live version's over, it stays in there. So you just start from the beginning whenever you want it and you get after it. So back to the core, hands under the shoulders, back's nice and flat. Extend your right arm out and your left leg. Okay. And pop around this way. Right shoulder, right arm, left leg, knee to the elbow. Don't let the knee touch the floor as it comes back in. Two. Three, slow on this one. Everybody wants to go really fast. The slower you go, the better. Time under tension builds muscle. So take your time. Six, seven, one more. Eight, switch sides. Left arm, right leg, knee into the shoulder. Keep your shoulders straight and even, and your hips even. Two, three, good. Four, love it. Five, three to go. One, two, three, okay. One more core exercise and we go through it a second time. You're not gonna like this one, but boy is it effective. So we got knee tuck jumps, knee tuck jumps for the core, okay? So it looks like this. Soft feet, jump up, bring the knees in, okay? If you're not jumping, boom. You do one knee at a time, okay? So here we go. We're gonna do this one for 15 seconds. Ready and rock. Soft landing, get those knees up. There you go. Five seconds. If you're not jumping, you're here. And done, good stuff. Shake it out. Let's go. Good work, dude, to see you in there, Jill. We all gotta stay in fighting shape. Stay in fighting shape, let's go. So, here we go. Last time through. Ab rows, 15 seconds. Hands back behind the hips. Three, two, extend them out. Knees in. Boom. Boom. Don't forget to breathe, my friend. Muscles love oxygen. You can breathe a little easier now. You should be by yourself. One more. Boom. All right. Now, remember, one leg pushed into the floor. Other leg out. Knee to the elbow. Hold the knee to the elbow for just a second. Good work. Couple left. And 
Down, switch it up. Rock. Man. Yeah, that's a way to finish strong. Five more seconds. Get two more in there. One and two. Love it. Last one. Hands under the shoulders. Extend the arms out. Bring it in, slow and steady. Hold it, open it. Hold it, open it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. Thanks. Other side. Finish it off. Nice work. Four. Good stuff. Five. Home stretch here. One. Two. Last one. And three. Love it. Look at you. Look at you making it all the way through. Proud of y'all. Proud of y'all. Remember, you can always start this from back from the beginning. Uh, always start this back from the beginning. Start it over. Get that work in. Let's get a little cool down here. I want you on your back. I'm gonna walk you through it. I want you to lay down on your back. Start with your arms back behind you. Legs flat out in front. And reach back behind you as long as as far as you can. And just take 10 big deep breaths. Take 10 big deep breaths. Look back by reach back behind you. Legs flat out on the floor. 10 big deep breaths. And what I want you to be breathing in is a sense of calm, sense of peace, and a sense of things that you're in control of what you're in control of. And as you're making these exhales, as you're breathing out, you're breathing out the stress, breathing out any anxiety or panic, breathing out the idea that things aren't the way they should be, because there's no should or shouldn't, just things the way they are. Grab your right knee, pull your right knee into your shoulder as you're laying on your back. And then pull that leg across your body so you're pulling your knee across. You're stretching out your glutes. Which boy, did they get some work today? At least mine did. Now I want you to straighten that leg back out. Pull the other knee in towards your shoulder. Pull it across your body. And then work your way back over onto your stomach. You're going to go hands under your shoulders and press on up. Stretch out your lower back, stretch out your core. I want you to hang in that position for five, ten seconds. Again, slowing down your breath. Let your heart rate come down. And now I want you to sit back into child pose. I want you to stay in child pose. This is a great stretch to get those quads that worked, your core, your shoulders. And again, let you relax. And I want you to just focus on your breath and just slow down. Use this time for yourself here to reflect on being proud for not letting this whole worldwide crisis stop you from your goals and reaching for your reaching for your goals and, and staying after it with your fitness. So be proud of that effort. Be proud of staying true to your goals, being staying true to what you really want even when it's hard, right? And that's the true test of character. That's what I mentioned earlier in the group. It's this is the opportunity that we look for to test our character, to see if we can rise to the occasion. And you guys are all doing that by being here and you guys are all sticking with it. So I'm really, really proud of you and I want you to be proud of yourself. And uh, 
we're gonna we're gonna put our resiliency to the test over the next few weeks. So a couple things to cover. You just worked out super hard and you heck yeah you're gonna get credit for it. So we're gonna make sure you get credit um, in mind body to count towards your workouts because we're still keeping track, baby. Those shirts are coming. Okay. So if you worked out right now, the best thing to do is. Uh, is to just leave yourself a comment here. Put yourself, put, put a little bicep emoji in here and then we're gonna, and then we'll know. If you leave a bicep emoji, we'll know you worked out and we'll add it to your workout total, okay? We'll add it to your workout total. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. Uh, this is our new reality for a while and we're gonna make the most of it. We're gonna keep having some fun. Um, it, it, uh, if you need, you know, an easy thing to do, order yourself a pair of 10 pound dumbbells from Amazon um, or find some real quick and, and, uh, we'll be, and you can add those into the workouts. Um, and I'll bring those involved next time as well so that if you have them, you'll be able to incorporate those in. But man, nevertheless, it's going to be a tough workout even if you don't have any extra weight. So thanks everybody for watching today. Again, if you're just tuning in towards the end, start this bad boy from the beginning and you'll be able to get after it. All right. Good work, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow. Same bat place, same bat time. And uh, I'm going to go hit the ice bath. So I'll be ready for some more workouts. All right, you guys have a great day. Ooh, technique guide for sure. I'll drop all that technique guide for folks who need it and don't have it yet, you bet. You're welcome, everybody, you're welcome.